Hello everybody, and uh, it's a good job there's no boot sales on today. It's peeing it down. So it's lucky I've already got something else lined up. I'm going to a vintage kilo sale um, down in Plymouth. It's worth the wait vintage, and hopefully it will be worth the wait. Not heard that one before, have they? Um, so let's uh, take you along. We'll see what we find. See you in a bit. Hello everybody and welcome back to another voiceover spectacular by Car Boot Chris. Well, this time we're not at a car boot sale, but we're at a vintage kilo sale. This is Plymouth Guild Hall. Um, never been here before. And it's worth the wait vintage kilo sale. It's £15 a kilo. And um, items are capped at £15. So if you get a big heavy coat or a big denim jacket, then it, you won't pay more than £15 for any one item. Lovely bit of jazz trumpet there. Drink it in. The reason I wasn't looking at anything there was I was actually looking around for the sports jerseys. It tends to be the area that I normally go to first at these sales, but there wasn't any. I'm truly disappointed worth the wait. No sports jerseys. That is poor. Now I've come across a really nice tracky top there. It's Puma. It's probably retro -y vintage um, and it's got chili on it. Um, so I'll have that, shove that in the bag. Um, I'm looking through tracky tops here. I do like picking up some good tracky tops. They can be worth some decent money. But you'll notice here that I am being quite picky on what I choose. That is because I've got a lot of stock at the moment. I don't really need the stock. I'm here because uh, I want to be here and I want to try and find some goodies, but I'm only choosing the best stuff. Um, a lot of this I could quite easily pick. I mean, take that for example, bright coloured women's um, Adidas tracky top, normally worth good money or decent money anyway, but I'm being very, very picky. Same with this lotto jacket. The tag's been cut out, so that harms the value. Um, now, this is nice, or it could be nice. It's an Adidas Chili 62. But look on the inside. I'm very, very sceptical on the authenticity on this. It's had that sort of backing on the inside. Other than that, it looks like a really nice jacket. But I think I'm probably going to leave this just because I'm not sure on that on the inside. Just in case you're wondering, you've got jazz trumpet today because they were playing music at the venue and obviously I can't have that on my YouTube video. But there's two nice tracky tops there. Look at those. I somehow I missed that Ralph Lauren. I don't know why. That blue one that I was looking at just in front of that white Tokyo one. I missed it. I would have probably had that. You can actually see there's plenty of really nice tracky tops here. Um, there's money to be made on a lot of these because the weight wise, you're looking at about five or six or seven pound each. So quite a few decent trackies. This is a nice looking jacket. It's a wet look um, jacket with some nice detail on the inside. So that's uh, that could be worth putting in the bag. What I normally do is when I find something I like, I'll shove it in the bag. And then when I'm ready to go and pay for everything, I'll sift through it all in the corner of the sale room um, and just make sure the zips, the, the tags are all okay, make sure there's nothing fake or, or anything like that and make sure pockets are okay, there's no rips or seam breakages. 
So initially, I'll just have a quick look at it and I'll shove it in the bag and then I'll go and look at it in the corner of the room just before I pay, just to make sure everything's okay because you can easily miss things. There's another nice jacket. That's an Olympic jacket. Um, so definitely picking that one up. Looked really nice, that one. On to some T-shirts now. I tend to look at trackies, T-shirts, sports jerseys and jackets. That's my main focus. Um, there wasn't a lot of T-shirts, really. There was only about two rails of T-shirts. Uh, but a nice-looking Ralph Lauren polo there. Definitely having that one. That looks like a good one. And we're over onto Varsity jackets. I don't normally like picking up the Varsity stuff. It tends to take a long time to shift. Um, but I thought, well, worth a look. And good job I did, really, because there's a very, very nice looking vintage Disney Varsity there. Like a satin style. Just checking that seam there. Everything looks okay. And, uh, yeah, we'll put that in the bag. I think I've learnt by my mistakes of the past in buying varsity jackets. They can be a bit of a fail. So now I only look for the ones that are really good brands. Disney would be an example of a good brand, of course. So that one's definitely going in the bag. So there you go, in it goes. And we'll carry on browsing along here and see. Um, we're actually here on an early bird ticket. And that gave us earlier access um, at 10 o'clock, the opening time. So it costs £3 for an early bird ticket. Yeah, but worth paying, I think. And there's another interesting jacket. I'll have a closer look at that in a minute before I go and pay. We'll see what else we've got hanging up here. Yeah, a lot of them are really ten a penny, these varsities. They're really not worth picking up. But you do see the odd thing, like I've shown. So it's always worth just having a little ganders. Now this looks interesting. It's a Manchester United varsity jacket. But when I looked closely at it, it was actually not in great shape. I know it looked all right on camera, but it wasn't in person. So I left that one. And besides, it's United as well. So it would have had to have been really good for me to pick that up. Hey, oh, I've just seen Yankees. That's a good sign. It's a majestic Yankees bomber jacket, like a satin style. Don't forget, stay tuned um, because I'll show you everything that I picked up straight after this live footage. And there's plenty of stuff that I didn't capture on camera. Uh, so that Yankees one's going in the bag. I've also got a Converse one there in my eyes as well. Converse satin style jacket, which is also pretty nice to be fair. So I expect we'll keep that one. We're on a roll here. So two jackets in a row and I spotted there a third one. Betty Boot. That's a stunner. That's really nice. That has got to go in the bag. There was nothing much jumping out at me on the trainer table and also I'm not really into bags and stuff like that. So I didn't really look closely at those. Don't really know what I'm looking at unless it's like a men's bag and not like women's leather stuff. And then I had a little look through the coats, the bigger coats and stuff, but there wasn't a lot there really. 
And um, unless it was really special, I wasn't going to bother because it's not the right time now to pick up big coats. There was an interesting one here on the end, if I remember rightly. Yeah, there it is, Wild Thing. That might have been worth picking up, but couldn't be bothered really on that one. So looking now at the thinner sort of lightweight jackets, like rain jackets and stuff like that. Things to look out for when you're at kilo sales whilst we're here is zips pits and pockets so that rhymes so it might help you remember zips pits and pockets so check all zips on garments um because they tend to be things that don't work or are broken or they're missing the donglies um pits because uh, the seams in the armpits are sometimes um loose or undone so inside and out and pockets are where you find holes a lot of the time inside the pockets. But just be careful when you stick your hands in those pockets. They can be a bit minging. So there's things that you should always check. And always also think about authenticity. Although I know the owners and organisers of these events do their best to sift out uh, anything that's fake or counterfeit or whatever... Some stuff always gets through. It's inevitable. Some of the fakes that you see are very, very hard to tell. And you might even buy some and not even realise it. It's very, very easy done. So try your best to combat that as well. So a few bits in the bag there. We'll discuss those later. So stay tuned um, after this bit of live footage because we'll go through everything that we picked up. So we're almost at the end of the live footage. So what I always do when I've finished looking through all the clothing at the Kilo sale is I go to the corner of the room somewhere. I get another plastic bag or whatever they have available. And I start going through everything in a little bit more detail. Not massive detail, just a cursory look at everything. Remember, zips, pits and pockets. And plus I'll check it all over. Make sure there's no real marks on it as well. And then I will just go and pay and I'll make sure that I've tried to sift out stuff that is no good for me. So, um, yeah, that's been the Kilo Sale here at Plymouth Guild Hall. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, bit of live footage and we'll see you in a minute back at headquarters and we'll go through what we picked up. So that was Worth the Weight Vintage Kilo Sale. There are other Kilo Sales you probably know if you delve into this area of reselling. Uh, there's lots of different companies that do this kind of sale. Um, I thought I'd try this one out because they were coming to a location near me. Um, so, first thing to say is I didn't go crazy because I've got tons of stock. I've got tons of clothing to get through. I don't really need the stock, but it's been that long since I've done a hand pick like this. I wanted to get in there when they did come down here. So I was being very, very picky. I could have picked up a lot more than what I did. So how much did I spend today? Well, I spent £121. And I'm pretty happy with that level of spend because I really don't need the stock, like I said. So let's see. So I'll just go through what I picked up. Um, I'll start off with the stuff that I haven't listed yet. This stuff I listed already today. Uh, this stuff I haven't. So I'll start off here. Um, this is a, a Nightmare Before Christmas t-shirt. Quite a nice one, but it's not like a normal t-shirt. It's uh, a concert t-shirt, live in concert with Danny Elfman at the Hollywood Bowl in 2015. 
So that's why I think I'm hoping that that might be worth a little bit more than your normal. I can't give you a price on these. I've not researched any of them, but the weight of it, probably about two pound or something like that, two to three pound maximum. Now, I started doing some research on this jacket, but it's got me stumped. So if you know anything about this one, will you give me a shout out? Because if the brand is there, it's Trey Tempster Sportswear. So don't know the brand, but just look at the front there. Athletics Club 76 on uh, this side. And then on the other side, it's got, I can't read this, something island there's a football there there's like an a usa eagle and then it says coast guard school on it it's got coast guard school and then on the back to even baffle me more it's got a golf club written on the back so I'm absolutely stumped on this. Um, there's football references, there's Coast Guard, there's USA, athletics, there's golf. I ain't got a f***ing clue on that at all. So it's going to end up being guesswork unless one of you know what that, even that crest might be, would be useful. Um, price on that, going off weight, five or six pound. Uh, I just thought it was unusual. Um, I'm not sure on value, obviously. Um, I picked up this really nice, um, it relates to the Olympics, Do you look, look there, it's got the Olympics logo on a reflective piece, um, it's German Adidas, but the nice thing about this is it's like a long jacket, like a long windbreaker, but on the arms, look at the arms on it, it's kind of got like what you would have on a suit, the three buttons on the arm. Very, very nice detail. Uh, Adidas, bit stumped on it. I've not researched that yet, but again, price-wise, probably about six, five, six pound. Very, very lightweight. What else have we got in here? Ah, this was a nice item. Adidas Chili 62. Always worth picking up Chili 62s. Um, they nearly always do well. This is a blue tracky top, really nice. And as you can see there, it's got the, that's what you're looking for, the Chili 62. So that's real nice, that. I've got a lot of time for that one. Price-wise, it's based on weight, so it's £15 a kilogram, as most of these sales are. So that's probably... Fiver. Don't know what the price is on it. As I say, I don't know the prices on this bag, but I've listed these ones already. So stay tuned if you want to see those ones. This is a nice um, varsity style jacket. It's like a silk, silky satin effect, but it's converse. And I'm pretty happy that it's genuine converse because of the labels in it. So that's a really nice item. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? It's a cracker, that. I love it. Um, looks like it's been made in Japan, perhaps. And the converse there on the inside. Uh, Boston, Massachusetts, USA. But anyway, again, very lightweight. In fact, let's have a little check on this one. So we'll see what it weighs. 300 grams. So that's about a third of a kilo. So a third of 15 pound is five pound. So I'm just fairly satisfied that that is five pounds worth there. I've got another tracky top. Now, this has got some marks on it. And normally I wouldn't take it, but it's unusual. And I think I can get the marks out of it. It looks like makeup marks. If you have a look here, well, I'll show you the thing first. It's an Adidas tracky top. Um, if you look there, white tracky top. Needs this steamer going on it. But it's I Love Tokyo. And it's got Tokyo on the back. 
And if you look there, I love Tokyo there. It's got the Tokyo flag and it's got some detailing on the bottom. But it's got this mark on the neck. I normally I'd leave it alone, but it's such an unusual thing. I think that will come out. I'll get some vanish on that and I'll get it in the wash. I think it's just makeup. I think a female has been wearing this, a lady. So, um, yeah, that I thought was an unusual enough for me to take a chance on the damage. So let's have a little look because this is a bit heavier. So it's a tracky top. It's got more weight to it. 500 grams. So that would be about £7.50. It's got to be worth that. Now, this was a nice thing. Um, vintage Mickey Mouse. Can you see that there? And on the back, it's got this. Vintage Mickey. It's like a varsity jacket. I don't normally like getting the varsities, but if they're a good brand, good make, it's got the tag there it's an old vintage mickey tag but the problem with this is i couldn't see it and annabelle pointed it out to me afterwards when we got home or when i got home and she said it looks like the white might be a bit pink which means that maybe some of the this has gone through like on a on a wash and and gone from white to pink but i'm not sure i'll let you have a closer look and you tell me what you think Look at Mickey. I mean, Mickey and the outside of the writing is kind of pink. Probably has run. Maybe there's a colour run going on here. Same on the front. Either that or it's meant to be pink. But I still think it will be very, very saleable. It's unusual. Um, Price-wise, it's probably about five, six pounds. I'm not going to check them all weight-wise, but just to give you an idea, I'll check this one. Uh, just under... That's 450 grams, so about £6.50 maybe, something like that. What else have we got? This, this I thought was unusual. I don't know what it is. Not got a clue, just have a look at the... I just like the visuals on it, the printing. Looked unusual. Just have a look on the back. Los Inga Burnables. Los Ingo Burnables. I've not got a clue whatsoever what this is. The brand is King of Sports. New Japan. Oh, Pro Wrestling. I didn't see that before. I've only just seen that now. So possibly wrestling related, which could be good. It's like a varsity jacket. So probably about a fiver in that. Another one here. I say I don't pick up varsities, but I saw quite a few. And people didn't seem to be that interested in the varsities, which was good. Because it gave me a more free reign. And this is like another satin sort of feel to it. It's Yankees. You can see there Yankees. On the back, to ladies, it's got Yankees on the back, which is nice. Um and it needs a good steam but it's made by majestic and it's a size medium so that was nice pretty happy with that uh, polo ralph loren and this has got japan on it there's a lot of japanese stuff i wonder if they've had a consignment from japan there's a lot of japanese made items um this is a polo shirt Really nice. Um, there was tons of Ralph Lauren polos, but I'll only pick up the ones that look unusual or have the countries branded and stuff like that on them. And um, this was a nice Japan one. I think, to be honest, I did pretty well for 121 quid. And this is a real nice Adidas wet look jacket. I like this. It's got that. It's got the big logo on the back. It's got writing spell out on the hood. And also on the inside, 
You know what? It could be reverse. You know what Annabelle said? Is it reversible? I said, I don't think so because it's got mesh inside. But actually, the zip goes all the way around, which makes me think it actually is reversible. And I didn't notice that. So props to Bargain Bell if this turns out to be reversible. There's a little bit of damage there that I didn't see. But I'll get fix it free just to sort that out. But you can see on the inside, oh, there's some discoloration there as well. But on the inside, it's got all this Adidas stuff on it. So, is it reversible? I'm not sure. Anyway, let me know what you think of that. It's not in quite as good a condition as I first thought, but I still think there's money in that. Here's another tracky. Oh, I like this one. This is a Puma, um, a Puma Chili. It's not Chili, um, you know, like the Chili 62 thing. Um, but this is Puma Chili the Country. Um, it's got branded there. There we go. It's got Chili. It's got the flag. Um, but I think it's football related. I think it's referring to the Chili football team. Um, just have a look at the tags. Again, this looks like it's Japan made, which is interesting. There's been a lot of Japan made stuff. Puma Korea Limited. Oh, it's Korean. Seoul, Korea. But that's, that's nice. I like that. Looks really nice. And on the back, it's got this kind of, um, luggage label on the back so that's all right that's well, probably about five or six pound right so that's everything that i've not yet dealt with all this stuff here is the stuff that's already listed so i'll go through that and i can give you some better pricing on it so i picked up this puma tracky top um quite a nice vintage sort of look to it uh, or retro price wise is about six pound um, I've already listed this for £29.98, so that's already on. Now, I'd, I would not normally advise to pick up kids' stuff if you're going to resell it, but I saw this AC Milan kids' jacket, and I really did like it. It's bigger than what you think. I think it's a youth large, but if you have a look on the back, it's got the AC Milan branding spell out on the bottom. It's khaki green. And as you can see there, and it's got the mesh inside and it's AC Milan. I think it's all legit. Price is very low because it literally weighs nothing. I'll, I'll do a weight on this one. 200, just over 200 grams. So that is about three pound. It's got to be worth three pound some t-shirts here's a world series chicago cubs t-shirt um i've got this listed at 16 pound 98 i've got this samoa rugby jersey it's vintage it's made by puma it's got a number 10 on the back i've got this listed at 39.98 i'm not sure if i'm going to achieve that but you can but try. And this is a really nice Adidas Germany, um, original sport Adidas tracky top. It's a size, I think it's a medium. Yeah, it's a medium, but it's got the spell out on the arms, as you can see there. And I've listed this. I think I've gone quite high on this. I've listed it for somewhere between 40 and 50. I think it's 49 pound I've listed that for. Very unusual. Um, I've also got this Toyota Motorsport rain jacket, which is really nice. Um, I think it's a size large, although it says size free on it. What's the hell that is meant to be? Maybe it's just a one size thing. But it's a very, very nice rain jacket. I can't find anything like it. So I've gone high because motor racing stuff can be worth good money. 
I've gone for 50 quid on that one. I also have already listed this, as I was saying before, Polo Ralph Lauren. I like to pick up the countries, um, the countries like Japan and USA today. And this is a nice one. It's got the USA flag on the back, number 10. Um, I have ironed this already because it was in a state. But I've listed this for £39.98. Cost price on that is probably about £4 maybe. Another t-shirt, this time it's a Super Bowl. It's the Atlanta Falcons Super Bowl 51. That's listed for £16.98. Another t-shirt. Very lightweight this. This is probably only cost about two to three pound this one. Uh, this is um, NHL All-Star 2018 Tampa Bay. That's gone on for $16.98. Also this XL, um, what one is it? Cincinnati Reds, Champions uh, NLDS 2010. $16.98. There's a theme here on the t-shirts. Now I've saved the best till possibly the last. And this is a cracker. I love this. It was hanging up in the varsity jackets, which not a lot of people were looking at. And it's a Betty Boop. Now that's the front. It's like a satin padded quilted jacket, ladies jacket, size medium. But look at the back. That is stunning. That is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Betty Boop. But it's got this collaboration. It's Betty Boop with Hedge Hop. I've not got a clue what that is, but there's only a few Hedge Hop related Betty Boo items around after doing my research. And it seems to be rare. I can't find this same one. So I've gone super high on it because some of the Betty Boot jackets are very expensive. So I've gone for 99 quid on this. Cost price on it. Let's give this one away because we're talking about large money here, big sums. So weight is less than 500 grams, just under. So cost price on that was about £7.50. Um, and I've listed it for 99. I've got no idea if that's right or not. I could be low, I could be high, who knows? Um, it's one of them, we'll put it up at a good price and we'll see what interest we get. Um, that is it, that's everything. So I think I did pretty well for 121 pound. And remember it's 15 pound a kilo. Um, this particular sale was in Plymouth. It's by Worth the Weight Vintage. And there are lots of other um, kilo sales similar to that around the country all through the year and especially now after lockdown is being eased and we're allowed to do these things um, look out in your area there might be one coming to you soon that's it I'm really happy with what I picked up at this one the only thing I would say is really disappointed worth the wait this is for you really disappointed there was no sports jerseys at all no sports shirts, no football shirts, no American football, no basketball, no sports jerseys. And when when you uh, saw me in the video, as I walked in, that's the first place that I like to look at is the sports jerseys because they are lightweight and they can get you some decent money back. So I, I would normally go to sports jerseys first. There was none. I couldn't find them. So that was the only disappointing part of this kilo sale but other than that i picked up some great items so let me know what you think have you been to a, a hand pick kilo sale like this recently let me know if you have in the comments below i'd love to hear how you got on that's it so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this little bit different sort of live video live footage at a kilo sale instead of a boot sale so i hope you enjoyed it catch you again soon take care bye now